Hi everyone, welcome back to the next video of UiPath Data Services series. So in continuation to the CRUD operation, we have seen how we can create a record in the UiPath Data Services, how we can retrieve data from data services. In this video, we are going to see how we can update the data in the data services and after that we are going to see how we can delete the data from the data services. To see update in the UiPath Data Services, let's come back to the entity we were working on. We just open the currency master entity, go to the data. And we have this data if you remember related to the currency so let's say i wanted to update the value for the euro so euro actual rate is now 0 0.843 and now i want to update it to something like let's say 9999 or 1234 so how can we do that by ui part so i quickly go back to the ui part studio i create a new sequence i'll call this sequence as update data hit create so to update the entity first thing we need to import the activity so let's quickly go to the manage entities and currency master is already imported to the project we can also verify the same by going to the project and expanding the entity tabs and sample entity process is already available okay so the next thing we want to update so we go to the activities data services entity record and there is an activity called update entity record okay i drag and drop it here it is asking me to confirm the entity i'll just go ahead and select the currency master now the input record so if i quickly go ahead and hit ctrl k and create record as a variable let's see what is the type of the input record it is expecting so it is expecting a record of the currency master so i cannot directly put a id or anything here so first thing we have to get a record of the currency master type so how can we do that i can quickly go ahead and uh, use this one get entity get entity record by id so if you remember we have used the same activity in the previous part of the video to get a record by id so i quickly select this one currency master and now for the record id i go ahead and this is the record id for euro i will just select the id go back to the UiPath studio and since we remember this is of the type guid so i will type guid dot parse and I'll pass the ID okay and the output record I'll just store it in a variable I have just created called record now let's try to update the value so I quickly take an assign activity so now record is a single record so I'll type here record dot now what value I want to update I want to update the actual rate to something called let's say 9999 okay so what will happen when I run this flow it will fetch the record with this record ID that is the this record entire record will be fetched now when the entire record is fetched we have taken an assign activity that will update the actual rate to the 9999 if I go here so the actual rate now is 0 0.843 so what we are telling you apart is to fetch the record by this ID once the record is fetched you just update the actual rate to 9999 and I am just updating the record so as an output I will just pass the record again and we'll run this flow in a debug mode so I'll put a right line here which says completed now let's try to debug this flow and see how it behaves I'll put a breakpoint here and debug the file let's go to the locals so the record entity is now null because we have not executed the entity get record by entity is executed now let's go back to the locals and you will see the currency master record is updated with the id of euro so euro we have given the id and it was able to successfully fetch the record next thing if i go here and if i see the actual rate if you see here the actual rate derived from the entity is 0 0.843 and we are yet to execute this record so if I go ahead and execute this one so the record is updated with a value of 9999 let's go back and verify so it's updated to 9999 so if I go ahead and refresh this entity it will not be updated because it is it is still updated only in my UiPath studio we have to confirm that thing so euro is still 0 0.843 so I come back here and I will execute this record so now if you will see the record entity so this is having the update date time of 2011 so today is 22nd so once I execute this update entity record okay let's see what happens to the record now so now 
first thing the actual rate is updated to 9999 and the create and updated time is updated to today's date and timestamp okay and i can go back to the your parts data service now hit refresh go to the data and the euro entity is now updated to 9999 let's complete this flow i hit on continue and the process is completed successfully so this is how we update our record in the uipath data services uh, similarly if we want to update multiple records at a time let's say i want to update the euro also the actual rate also on this rate also so what i can do is i can go to the uipath studio i can take one more assign activity or we can use the multiple assign activity also and we just update the record dot let's say i want to update the currency as well to something called euro underscore updated and the actual rate let's say this time i want to update it to 5555 let's quickly run this flow run the file okay process is executed completely let's go back to the data services hit refresh let's go back to the euro entity so as you can see we have just updated the currency name and the value and if you'll see the date timestamp this signifies that this is recorded has been updated just now so this is how you can update multiple fields of a single record in uipath data services now that we have just seen how we can update a single field or how can we update a multiple fields in the data services let's see how we can delete the record from the data services so let's say i want to delete this record so euro updated i want to delete this record completely from the data services so i go back to the uipath studio i can go to the activities and i have an activity which is called the delete entity record so i will just drag it here delete entity record and if you'll see this record expects an id so we have to provide the id of the record which we want to delete it so i'll just remove the extra fields from here i'll just remove this guy this guy also so delete entity record so first thing we have to select the entity currency master and the record id so which is the record id i want to delete so i can go here I can go here copy this record id come back here and as we know it is of type git so we'll type git dot parse and the record id and the right line specifying that it is completed so i'll just write completed the delete hit save so now if i run the flow what's the expectation it should delete this complete record from the data services let's try to execute this one i'll go ahead and run the file okay so completed delete this means this that means this activity is executed let's go back to the data services entities this is the entity go to the data hit refresh and now the record is not available anymore okay so this is how we delete and record from an uipath data services to know more about how we can update or delete the entity record we can always come to the official docs.uipath.com and read about the activities and their properties here so update entity record and the delete entity record i'll provide the links in the description so i'll wrap up this video here if you like this video please subscribe to the channel and happy automation